Hey, good morning everybody, wherever you are. We're in the small studio today above Alan's Music in La Mesa. This place I come once a week, uh, just to, basically to get out of the home studio and to stay in touch with my music store roots and to be around, you know, all the, just that great young energy of people coming up here trying to learn an instrument. I enjoy that. Um, summer is on us, it is hotter than, uh, think of a, just think of a good metaphor on your own. And uh, probably not as hot as where you are. My uh, niece says it's about a buck fifteen in uh, in Fort Worth, Texas. So I think we're we're sort of still balmy, kind of in the upper seventies. But nonetheless, that's hot for us. And so, you know, when it gets hot, my brain tends to cook. Probably yours does too. Anyway, lots of questions from uh, those of you who have uh, subscribed to the channel and reach out to me with your questions. And I appreciate all of you so much uh, about what. I practice. So I thought we'd talk about that today for just a couple of minutes. I'll show you what I work on, what I practice, and, and it'll tell you a little bit about why I practice it. Uh, if you enjoy what you get, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, that helps me. And, uh, and hit that love button too. That also helps me. All right, the love button and the subscribe button. That's all you gotta do. And I appreciate all of you so much. Uh, if you have any questions ever about what I'm talking about or you have suggestions for future videos, reach out to me at davegoodsax at gmail.com. Hold on. <coughs> Dust. Eat. Ah. davegoodsax at gmail.com. So I'm going to show you what I work on, why I work on it, but with this caveat, all right, I play with live human beings at least three times a week, okay? sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less, but I'm always playing with somebody during the week, okay? And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I just, whatever. Anyway, I do that, and if you're not doing that, you're, 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 you're cheating yourself of an opportunity to grow as a musician, okay? So the stuff that I work on might seem real stinking boring to you, uh, but the, the, the most important thing is for you to engage in what it is that you practice, all right? Um, one of the books I'm going to show you, and this is just, man, this is, this is prime. I don't know if this is backwards to you or not. Technique that the saxophone, uh, this is volume two in a three volume set. And this is Joseph uh, Viola or Viola. Anyway, this is a worthy book to have. Joseph Viola, 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 uh, was, uh, to name a few, Eric Marienthal. I have an Eric poster in here. Can you tell him a fan? There he is, Eric. Eric says he was his teacher when he went to Berkeley, and, and he wrote, so this is, the, this is the guy that taught Eric, and I work out of volume two. I really like this. Um, it's, it's just uh, every key, every scale study that you can imagine, and it, it gives you all, any, just any kind of passing, chromatic passing, approach notes, uh, they're all in this book. And, and you can see I got a little bookmarker up here. And what I do is I grab this book up and I, I will go through it and get as far as I can in an hour. This is an hour. This is hour one, okay? Here's another book that uh, I've been playing for about, I don't know. Ah, Y'all got this one, 25 Daily Exercises for Saxophone. I've never heard this man's name pronounced out loud. H. Close, Close, whatever it is. Maybe it's just close. I don't know. But this is this this book. This book again will help you. Uh, just full of exercises that you can work on with your metronome, and you can build up speed to. You want to play all of these things really, really slowly. You know, I mean, really slowly. You don't want to just sit there and, and rip on these things because the idea is that every note's got to be pretty and every interval has got to be pretty, and your breathing has got to be pretty, because these people don't leave any room for breathing, so you have to figure out how to do that. This one is uh, a, another book that is, uh, I will go through this thing annually, uh, Patterns for Improvisation, all right, and this is by, this is an Abersoll book, this is by Oliver Nelson. This, this is a marvelous book, Patterns for Improvisation. Again, just, you know, massive, just, just cover to cover scale studies and I'll do this thing cover to cover. And, uh, I, I, you know, 
it's in the stack of things that I work on. Uh, so we start out with uh, techniques with the saxophone or 25 daily exercises. I'll do that for an hour, take a break, do some business, come back, maybe hit this one. Uh, and then there's another book that I've been working on, and, and I, I, uh, it's just Elements of Jazz Language for the Developing Improviser. Elements of Jazz Language, all right? And this is uh, Jerry Coker, uh, right? Jerry Coker. Coker, there's the name. You can get all this stuff on Amazon or at a music store near you, I'm sure, unless you live in the, uh, I don't know, the Arctic or the middle of the Congo or something. You know, there are probably no music stores there, but you can find them uh, in any major city. This stuff, and I'm finding this book to be invaluable. I wanted to to do, you know, obviously do some research on books and material to recommend to students. And so this is uh, something that's a, a little bit off the beaten path. There are a couple other books written by this gentleman that are that are excellent, but I'm finding that this book is, is again, sincerely challenging. What I like about Mr. Coker is he gives a lot of examples from other musicians about you know, this, this beast that we call jazz language. Now, every music has language, you know, that's peculiar to it, right? Uh, whether it be it country, uh, pop, R&B, soul, whatever it is, funk, you know. And, and as you listen to enough of that, it'll, it'll, it'll come to you that, you know, a lot of these phrases are being repeated. He talks a lot about that. Mr. Coker talks a lot about that, plays examples. And there are, there's a, a, a CD that comes with this as well. I'm not trying to sell you the book. I'm just telling you what I practice. And I'm finding that this book uh, is, uh, let me hold it still so you can see that, all right? I, I'm finding that this book is invaluable. So again, uh, what I practice is kind of boring. I'll always start out with long tones. Tone production is a big deal. Always work on my tone production. And then I have a couple of, uh, a couple of little scale exercises I learned along the way just, just to, you know, just to limber up. You should do the same thing. See what I'm doing with my fingers? Look at that. I know it looks a little silly, doesn't it? But you want to loosen up your fingers, your hands. Do that Bob Reynolds stretch where you can I let me I'll just move the camera here a little bit. So you, you have both arms doing this. That's on that's on Bob Reynolds channel. And I'm doing and it it feels really good. It works. So I want you to try that too. Just stretch out big honking huge cannonball into the swimming pool breaths. Suck it up. I mean, take in a lot of air and work these exercises. With uh, with what with your little friend here? Yes, the metronome. You got to set this metronome up and click. No matter what anybody tells you, you got to do it. All right. Use the metronome. It'll help you in ways that you can't even imagine when you start do start to sit down and, and play music with people. All right. That's what I work on. But again, I want to you to know that that engages me. All right. I feel pretty good about this music. I feel pretty good about playing and, and working this stuff out. And I get better at it the more I go through it. have been doing this for a long time. I started, like I said, when I was, what, 11? And I'm not 11 anymore. So uh, this coupled with working with individual students and playing live, uh, you know, at least three times a week, uh, is, is, is my recipe for how I play and how I get better at what I'm doing. This may not work for you. You may get these books or you may order them. You may already have a stack of books, don't we all, that you don't play, that you just don't relate to, all right? And that's okay. You've got to find something, where, and preferably through your teacher. You'll have a teacher or somebody that you're working with. Uh, and th th maybe they'll suggest some material for you, or you'll find a good source online. Uh, you know, maybe another another online uh, teacher will have some ideas for things uh, for you to work with. But the stuff, the, by the end of the day, you have to connect with it and really, really engage with this material, or you're just like killing time, okay? So that's it. Again, what I'm doing may not interest you in the least, but it works for me. Questions? I hope you have lots of them. Dave Good Sachs at gmail.com. Again, hit the subscribe button. Show me a little love if this uh, uh, it all appeals to you. We're on the cusp of the 4th of July weekend, so wherever you are in uh, the U.S. of A., have a great day. And the rest of you around the world, so many of you have subscribed from uh, parts that are distant, distant parts of the world. And I, I appreciate you. 
and I would, in fact, love to hear clips of you playing. So one of these days, record yourselves and send me stuff, would you? DaveGoodSax at gmail.com. Gotta go. Got a student coming. Take care.